Folks that follow this channel know that I've got a real interest in season extension in our cold climate. We've got all sorts of low-cost experimental structures to help uh, make the season last a little bit longer. This is what our winter can look like here in early February, but inside some nice season extension. Got all sorts of little plants that are still green and nice. Some chickweeds, some mustards, some red Russian kales. Nothing too fancy in this high tunnel, but it's always a reminder at this time of year as the sun gets warmer, the real value of having spaces like this. In the greenhouse here attached to our house, it's done a really nice job all winter keeping greens alive. And now that the sun energy is increasing every day, they're actually starting to grow a little bit. Uh, soon enough, I'll do an update video talking in more detail around our compost system on the outside here that has a 200 foot PEC circuit with a pump moving water. That's worked pretty well. Uh, that'll be for another time, but I'd like to explore a more passive way of heating our little high tunnel out there. It's decoupled from the house, but maybe we can use compost to heat that space and get a kickstart as well. Mm. When I first set up this compost heating system for the greenhouse, and I was asking for feedback, a lot of folks said, well, why not just put the compost pile right in the greenhouse? Now, in the case of it being attached to our home, it doesn't make a ton of sense because it'll take up space in there, but more importantly, there might be a buildup of gases that could get into the home. But if it's not attached to our house, can we do that? I think this cattle panel high tunnel, four panel high tunnel in our backyard may be the appropriate place to explore that question. Ooh, is it nice and warm in here? Around 20 degrees outside, but with the sun coming in, it is 45 degrees in here and 76% humidity. Now, since this space isn't attached to our home, if there was a little bit of a buildup of gases in here, we could vent those out through the vent in the back, which in this case is a univent. Uh, I've got this online for about $30, which vents automatically as the heat accumulates. So if there were gases, it would just vent it out to the air. And I wonder, can we develop roughly in this corner some sort of very active, insulated, nice compost pile that can provide ambient heat for this whole space. And maybe it can be laid out in a way where it's flat on top, covered in soil, and we can use it to start seeds. I think this will definitely be a multi-part video. The first phase will be to go through, this is a very rough sketch where I've put compost in this back corner uh, over the last season. It's breaking down nicely, slowly, but it's definitely not warm. The tricky part is all in this area is Mioga ginger, uh, perennial ginger, beautiful plants, amazing root system. There's also some other high value little tidbits here and there. There's Hiblitzia, which is a vining perennial spinach. There's all sorts of Claytonia and mustards. I'd like to preserve all the plants that are in here. So first order of business is to dig them out so that we can kind of see the space that we have to work with. I think once I have the, the high value plants dug out of roughly this area, maybe from the west side, I would come in about four feet and probably include this end of the walkway. This water tank is a 55 gallon drum with holes drilled in the bottom that allows groundwater to push up. And this stays pretty thawed out all winter, a little grimy, but not too bad. Um, so I don't want to block that up, but I can probably bring the compost right to it. So I'll dig those plants out today, and then I want to start looking at what sort of fencing and material I can use to hold up the compost in here. And then we can bring compost from the chicken yard, we certainly have a lot of it, and start filling this space. If we needed more compost, we could put it right on the outside and insulate that like crazy so the heat radiates into this space. I feel like an active compost pile on the far corner of this coupled with these insulated polycarbonate cold frames that I'm starting to build. I'll document these in another video. I got these used from some folks nearby, about $6 a piece to build them. I feel like we can get started with seeding pretty soon, even though it's gonna be very cold before we get into the real spring here. It's early stages enough with this that getting input from folks at this stage definitely be pretty helpful. So comment below, uh, how do you think I could lay this out that would make the most sense. Really, the idea with this is to go in a direction different than the greenhouse attached to our home. I do not want to use a solar panel and pumps 
and all that, I'd like to passively just warm this space. Maybe you've got some suggestions or links to videos uh, or leads of how other folks have heated a greenhouse or a high tunnel space passively with a compost pile in it. How have they set up those spaces to be bottom heat beds to propagate and start seeds? So maybe I can lay it out where there's actually some sort of cold frame that sits on top of it to insulate it and start. But for now, I'm just going to clear the space, kind of open up the canvas so that this far corner is ready. Pretty crazy digging up this Mioga ginger. This is a plant we definitely want to offer for the fall of 2020. I've dug up oh, a square foot so far, and there are enough roots in here to plant out about 30 plants. It's pretty stunning. Zone five. I don't think we actually need this high tunnel to grow this plant. It seems like it grows outside, but just clearing out the patches in here, I'll probably end up with about 300 plants. It's kind of crazy to think about being able to ramp up perennial plant numbers like that. Two crates loaded with root, packed away in the root cellar, a couple transplanted in the high tunnel of the Mioga, and now we've got a clean slate. I'm gonna dig this out, lay in the rough material that's in here, and then start really thinking through the design on this. Your input is much appreciated and welcome. Thanks for watching so far.